This phone is brought to you by the letters S and by the number 10. Welcome to another sunny Saturday in Wellington. So as you can see we're down on the south coast again. Just winding our way around. Oh, so as you can see the, the bone's brought you with a letter S which stands for sunny. Which is what it is for a change. And by the number 10. Which is the number of kilometres I'm going to run out around the south coast here and then around and head back again. So it should make for a uh, nice challenging bungalow, so, uh, but it's quite lovely, it's, it's not terribly cold, it's not terribly warm, it's probably around 12, 13 degrees, a little bit cooler when you get into the wind, but there's not much of that today, but yeah, just a, a beautiful winter's day to be out, and it's much, much warmer than it should be into the depths of winter which is where we are right now so it's it's not even mid-august yet and we've already got spring temperatures so the weather's a bit odd this year right back into it well i think that's as far as i get today so i don't fancy getting my feet wet But that's good to know. So we're out here mainly just exploring this route to see if I can get all the way around to uh, make a cafe on the other side. And there's a couple of these streams I need to cross and I wanted to see just how big they are. Uh, and if there was a, a way we could just jump across them real easy. Uh, but there's not. And I'm not wearing my waterproof socks today. Uh, and I don't fancy running all the way out in wet feet in the sand because that's just going to mess my feet up. So next time I come out I'll put my water food socks on and we can bounce through this creek no problem. Uh, it's been quite good so far. Um, so there's a bit of a small community out here. Uh, so it's all quite lovely really. Uh, the last kilometre was pretty hard though, it's all really really soft sand. So that's really got my legs working. So we'll turn around and head back. Uh, and maybe throw some hills in just to make the run worthwhile, you know. Can't have things too easy. So pretty soft through here, which makes things interesting. And with loads of sand flies. It's gonna rumble your mouth shut. Otherwise you get some extra protein. Well, this is certainly a good workout for the legs.
this is one of those things you have to contend with when you're out here. Uh, most of the four-wheel drive guys are not bad. Occasionally you get an idiot like that. But you just have to dodge and hope like hell they don't kick up stones at you. Uh, so this part's a little bit of a different running surface. This is all loose stone. As you can see, it's just, you just sink into it when you're right in it. So it's quite taxing on your legs. Um, but it also means that your ankles and knees and everything are going all over the place. So it's really good for building up that strength so that you can cope with uh, trails and holes and divots and rocks and bumps and stuff. Uh, but it does fly out, I can tell you that. So we've done about 11 kilometers out and back so far. Uh, and most of it's been like this. Either sand or soft stony stuff. You get the occasional high pack out, but that's only for a few hundred meters at a time and then you're back into uh, the soft stuff again. So, so the theory behind this is it's really good for building up the strength and endurance without having to put in so many hours running um, so I'm hoping that that's what it's going to do for me uh, a bit disappointed that the creek was up we couldn't get past it but such is life I'll come and try it again next time right so the legs are getting a bit tired now so we're just going to beast our way through this soft stuff and get back onto the pavement and then see how I feel, I might put some hills in or take the long way home but either way it's a lovely day to be out here we couldn't really ask for a better day That's the end of the beach section. So I'm just under 23 k's in, so it'll be 23 k's by the time I hit that. So it's not bad. So I'm feeling a bit tired now, the legs have had a bit of a work here. Uh, that will stop, take on some food, a bit of water, and see how I feel about running on some more. But apart from feeling tired, everything else is feeling quite good, there's no pain. That's a good start at. Yeah, so as you can see we're on the, the footpath part of the south coast, heading back for home. So we're 25 k's in and my legs are really starting to hurt now. So we're going to take the short way home I think and call it a day. So 
it was a good hard run that. No point injuring himself. And there's loads of people out because it's an amazingly sunny and warm day for the middle of winter. So, this is Island Bay, and it's called that because it's a bay, and it has an island in it. We're a very logical people. Well, if you're ducking up here, you can have a good look at the island that gives Island Bay its name. There you go. It's not a big island, it's only a small island. This is all a marine reserve. Good. Tough sightsee. Time to head home for a beer. Yeah, I just leave the island bay shops and it's all uphill from here. Oh yay. Last hill before home. Well I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a good run. Didn't get as far as I wanted to, but that's okay. There's always another day. I'm looking forward to getting home, having a shower, grabbing a beer, and kicking back for the rest of the day. So wherever you are, I hope your day's going well, and your running's going well. And we'll catch you next time.